Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and we're looking at Venom Lethal Protector number one. Okay, so this is cool. This is Venom. <clears throat> the Have you guys heard of Venom? Just kidding. You know, Spider-Man villain, um, famously, uh, in the comic book, you know, he, when he went to Secret Wars, he bonded with this alien symbiote who became his sort of, uh, you know, um, living costume, his black and white costume. And when he came back from that, that was his costume until the alien sort of tried to take him over and turned it into the evil Venom. And of course, Venom became super popular. I mean, pretty much uh, because of Todd McFarlane's version with the mouth. Although I guess Todd McFarlane did create Venom, so uh, at least the look for him. So people just went nuts for it. And Venom has been super popular ever since. People love him. And this is his first series. This is very Sign of the Times 90s. It's got the red foil cover. Um, this is drawn by Mark Bagley, part one of six, first limited series. Um, printed on nice paper. I have to say, like, uh, Mark Bagley is a very serviceable artist. Uh, he's very much associated with Spider-Man. I think that's how he got this. He had been drawing Spider-Man. I'm not quite so sure. Either way, he's super fast. He just draws a ton. Um, I'm not, uh, I am a fan, uh, he drew New Warriors, I really liked his work on the New Warriors, that's, like, a great series, I love that series, um, I read, a, I feel like I read a lot of his Spider-Man, not so much on the Ultimate Spider-Man, because, I don't know, I just didn't really latch onto that so much, I didn't need, like, an alternate version of my beloved Peter Parker, He's been in my life forever. I don't know. That's just as bad as the Clone Saga to me. I'm not saying what they did on Ultimate Spider-Man wasn't good, but oh my gosh, hilarious. A mullet. You gotta love a mullet. What's up with uh, Spider-Man's uh, supporting cast and their hairdos? I mean, that's god-awful. And I'll never, for the life of me, understand Norman Osborn and Harry Osborn's hairdos. I just don't get it. I mean, I don't understand how they do their hair with a waffle iron or what the hell is going on. But anyway, oh, there's Spider-Man. And I have to say, like, Mark Bagley does draw, like, a pretty classic Spider-Man. The only thing that bothers me about uh, Mark Bagley's art is he tends to... And, of course, now I'm not going to be able to see an example. But a lot of times his eyes, one is, like, bigger than the other or a little crooked and I'm like what the hell's up with that but oh well maybe that came later in his career maybe an anvil landed on his head but can you believe it I have no idea what's going on story wise um but this seems a little lackluster for like Venom's first limited series art wise I don't know just not my favorite maybe he He's better on a team book or something. Anyway, so thanks for watching. That was Venom by David Michelini and uh, Mark Bagley. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. Thanks, guys.